Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And today we're going to be talking about sexual appetite. Um, so I didn't put a title on purpose because sometimes I'm just noticing the more words that I use, the harder it is to get the message out there. All right, but I'm going to give everyone a chance to actually get logged in. I hope you all had a fantastic holiday. I hope you all are ready to learn. I'm always seeing these posts saying, oh, I, want, I wish the group would get back to what it used to be. And what we were learning and doing challenges and all of this stuff, we, we never stopped. We never stopped. That's just like you go to school. It, it, the announcements is your classroom. Anything you want to know about what Sharonda Parker say as far as education and teaching, always go to the announcements. If you go, if you come on this page, yeah, you can see all the other stuff, but the thing that you should go to first is the announcements. The announcements is going to tell you everything. The announcements is going to give you challenges. The announcements is going to tell you about new products. The announcements is going to talk about whatever I'm, whatever I'm teaching on this week. It's all going to be in the announcements. So if you come on the page and you're like, oh, I'm so sick of seeing this side chick and wife and all of this. These people exist. They're going to be there. I'm not removing nobody. All I can tell you is if you come to class, if, if you come to school, go to class. But if you go to school and you're not in the classroom, which is the announcements, and you hanging out in the bathroom, cutting class, which is everything else that you see on the page, then that's on you. Because the thing is, it's available to you. My YouTube, well, all, every video that I ever post, YouTube have over 200 videos. It's, it's all available to you, but you have to utilize your resources. So I can get on here and I can come on and I can teach every day and I can have strategies and topics every day. But if you never go to the announcements, then you will never get to see them. Let's see. So I wanted to give everyone a chance to get on because I really wanted to talk about sexual appetite. I've been doing sex coaching for about three years now, one-on-one -on -one sex coaching. That's outside of what you see me do here. Meaning this is what you see me do on the group page. If you come into the store and shop, then you see me on the retail side of the industry. But my one-on-one -on -one sex coaching sessions, that's something completely different. I've been doing that for about three years now because that's about how long I've been certified. And one thing that I'm constantly seeing when I'm dealing with couples is each person having a different sexual appetite. It's very important that you understand the person that you with, you understand what type of appetite they have. Because the thing is, let's just look at appetite in the, the way that we think of it is in the terms of food. If I'm feeding you something but I'm not making sure that you're full, then it kind of defeats the purpose of feeding you, right? And I need y'all to talk back to me. You can talk back to me. If you have someone and you know that they have a really uh, high sex drive, meaning that they have a really, uh, they, they, they have a hungry appetite, and you know that you cannot match it, then you have to come up with other ways to feed this person. Because a lot of times in our mind, we think about sex on the terms of penetration. And when we start talking about any other forms of pleasure, if penetration is not involved, then we feel like it's not sexual. But I come today to talk to you about different ways to feed this appetite. Especially when you're dealing with someone like me who is highly sexual. Meaning, I'm a sexual person in my everyday life. Like, I'm going to give you an example. We were having, uh, it was on Thanksgiving. My daughter was sitting next to me, Gabby. 
can't remember how Gabby got on the topic. But Gabby was talking about porn, and she was like, Madison watches porn. I was like, Madison, you watching porn? Madison was like, no. And I was like, well, Gabby, why would you say that she's watching porn? Oh, she was like, because I know that I had started watching it around third grade. And I was like, well, are you know, Madison, are you watching porn? So the, my, my point is, in my everyday life, sex is such a big, a, it's, a, it's, it's a part of my life so much. And the thing is, I know that there are people out there that are like me that are highly sexual. Meaning, you know, we constantly touching and groping and feeling and all, all this stuff. But this is what we do every day on a regular basis because this is who we are. So, if you're dealing with someone who is highly sexual, how do you feed them? That is the question. Miss LaCour. You say you like to start on the intellectual level. I completely, did, you know, sometimes these lip flips be bothering me. I completely understand. I am a mental person as well, meaning that you have to stimulate me mentally first before, like, it starts in my mind first. Before you can, before we can even make it to the bedroom, it's all in my mind. So I'm gonna talk about some different things that you can do to uh, have. To feed that appetite, but at the same time, it's not necessarily you having a penetrative form of sex, okay? Sexting. Sexting is basically when you getting on that phone and you sending text messages and y'all talking nasty to each other. Or you might be sending them all kind of little memes. Like, for instance, I had the thing up that said... Um, Oral sex for 45 minutes or anal for 10 minutes or something like that. And you sending them different stuff like that. And it's basically getting y'all engaged in a, a conversation. And it might go into another direction. And it could all, it, you know, it can turn into y'all sending pictures. And this is that the other. That's what sexting is. It's basically, it's basically speaking sexual in a form of texting each other. Okay. Another thing you could do is video sex. What is video sex? That is when you are doing some type of like a webcam. That's like you on like a Zoom or a Skype or something like that to where you actually can't touch each other. But at the same time, you know, y'all are able to get on that level sexually. When I'm dealing with couples and, and it's a lot of infidelity going on, how do you think they communicate with these other people? They don't have the time in the day to be able to sit in these other people's face all day long like that. So how do you think that they are communicating with each other? Yes, they are video chatting each other. They, they jacking off on the video. She masturbating on the video. He's sexting on the video. So my thing is, if all of this is good for those type of relationships, why can't it be good for yours? Why can't you include some of these things in your traditional relationship but a lot of times when we're in relationships we feel like we got the person so we don't have to do all of this other little stuff that that keeps the fire burning because again you're dealing with people who are highly sexual all day long on instagram they seeing sex all day long on facebook they seeing sex when they're at work they talking about sex sex is here it is a part of our life but you have to be the one to feed that appetite if you don't feed that appetite they're gonna get fed it just won't be from you Okay. Um, of course, watching porn together or solo, that does not require any type of penetration, any type of anything, but again, it's feeding a certain type of desire. Okay. Massages, cuddling, uh, scissoring, role playing, fantasizing, just grinding on each other's genitals with your clothes on. That has been some of the most heated shit when you can't get it, but you want to get it and you got all your clothes on and all you can do is touch and pet all over each other. That's another way to feed that appetite. Um, Of course, phone sex. Um, spooning, sensation play. Or sometimes you can just reach over at the table and, and put your hand in there and give a hand job. It's all types of ways to feed that appetite. Now, this is another question that people have. How do I know? Like, in other words, I don't necessarily 
catch on to the cues that the person that I'm with wants to be intimate. Well, sometimes y'all have to put things in place if your communication is all over the place. They did not create these bells for no reason. They created these sex bells for a purpose. You ring it when you want to be intimate. You, you ring it when you want your dick sucked. They created this stuff for a reason. Some people, they just don't know how to come out and exit. Especially when you're in that dating stage, you're still in that honeymoon stage. Or if you like me that has been married 22 plus years, this card says it all. This card says one thing, want to fuck? You want to fuck? They open it up? Me too. You want to fuck? Me too. And then it gives you four different sexual positions that it suggests to you to get you out of your comfort zone. And then it gives you some lubricant. It gives you some massage oil. And then it gives you an edible body topping. All in this card. Up here at the top is your lubricant. Right here at the bottom is your massage oil. Right here on the side is your edible, your, in other words, uh, your, your oral, oral sex body topping. So all of this comes in this card, and these cards are only $10. They are on the website. Like, in other words, you get out of it what you put into it. If you are continuing to do the same thing over and over and over, please do not expect a different result. You're only going to get a different result when you make up in your mind to do something different. When you decide to do something different pertaining to your relationship, your sex life, your, your, um, your friendship, whatever it is that y'all got, sex buddies, fuck friends, whatever. When you decide to do something different, then you can expect a different result. But if you're not going to do anything different and you don't want to ever have to spend no money and you don't want to ever have to fix yourself up and you don't want to ever have, then don't expect a different result. Okay. So today is Cyber Monday on my website. I do have the Give Me Body set on the website. It is only $9.99 and it will fit from a size small all the way up to a 3X. I told y'all I'm ordering a lot of lingerie that is stretchy material, so it does not matter what size you are, you can fit it. If you want to see a picture of it, I have modeled it. It is on my website, okay? These bells are on my website. This greeting card is on my website, okay? So, again, I'm going to go over a few more. Uh, I'm going to go over it again. We got sex. I'll just list everything that they have on the list that you can do that's... Um, not penetrative sex, okay? Sexting, mutual masturbation, face sitting, video sex, watching a partner masturbate, watching porn together, uh, showering, showering together, basically taking a shower together, sensation play, spanking, spooning, hand jobs, phone sex, um, cuddling, making out, massaging, grinding, fantasizing, role-playing, and scissoring. So, if you did not know some different things that you can do, now you have an idea of some different things that you can do to feed that sexual appetite. That will be my topic this week. Um, if you missed it last week, I was talking about um, having sex with your knees together, closing your legs, crossing your ankles, tightening that snatch up. That's what we talked about last week. This week, we are talking about sexual appetite. Um, So, which one of y'all hollered fake? Fuck my husband at the, at the dinner table for Thanksgiving. Who I went and snuck off up the mama bathroom and got it on? Who had to introduce themselves to about three, four different sets of in-laws because you got all that going on in your life? And if you're from Louisiana... Which one of y'all have more draws by your glasses? <laughs> all right, y'all. You all be safe. Make sure you wear your mask. If there was no other time that I'm stressing that you be safe and wear your mask, it right now you should be wearing your mask because a lot of people went and saw family. 
and they expose themselves into environments that they are normally wouldn't go in and that were around people. And the thing about COVID, we don't know exactly who have it, who don't have it. So right now it is critical that everybody is wearing their mask, okay? Um, and I want to say that's about it. The 27 degrees pillows did awesome. Um, a lot of y'all should start receiving y'all stuff in the mail um today because we started mailing them off Friday. Um what else? I want to say that was about it. Y'all did awesome on the bullet seller. We had so much stuff on sale this weekend. Y'all really did awesome. Small business Saturday, y'all came through. Y'all came through on Black Friday. Y'all, y'all really came through. So again, check us out for Cyber Monday, $9.99 on the website. You all be blessed. Make sure you like and share. Tell a friend. Invite a friend to the group so that they can get this good knowledge. And thank you, Crystal, for my hair. Girl, you did an awesome.